Welcome to another episode of Star Citizen. This is Boobs in Space, Tanks for the Memories, playing Star Citizen. Well, not actually playing Star Citizen, just kind of doing another preview because not a whole lot has come along in the last year or so with Star Citizen. And, you know, I mean, there's people out there putting up videos of flight simulators and things like that where they're doing the braces or they're shooting drones or whatever and there's people who put up videos of their hangars and this is this is my hangar and there's my constellation and things like that I mean they make occasional minor changes to it like instead of sitting in your ship now and going into a similar flight mode you come into this little VR cabinet right here and you can come inside this and you sit down and it uh, is going to pull up you know the way to get into Arena Commander, and then you can see over here the next one is Star Marine, which is not ready yet. They're still working on it. Uh, you can do Arena Commander, and it's going to give you the option of doing um, Spectrum Match, a Drone Simulator, Basic Flight Training, which is the typical thing we've always had. And, uh, you know, that's what you get sitting in this thing instead of sitting in your ship these days. Uh, but the one new thing that's come along today that I thought I would talk to you guys about that I was kind of interested in seeing myself was they've added the very first so what's called social module which is the beginning of the Persis universe and it's the planet Arcorp which is a sort of quasi Star Wars you know uh, you know where the Jedi headquarters building was it's sort of like that or uh, kind of like Blade Runner. Right? It feels a lot like Blade Runner. It's gritty. It's industrial. Um, it's got very. It's got a lot of you know advertising around things like that. It's very sort of Blade Runner. Um, but anyway, so this is. Uh, we're going to go up to it. We're going to take a walk around. We're going to take a look at different stuff. The you can you can explore the entire area. What you cannot do is you cannot interact with uh, any of this other people. You cannot interact with any of the staff in the stores. You can't buy anything from any of the stores. You can't jump off the ledges. Uh, but you can walk around and you can see everything they've done. It is very, very pretty. Um, it is a, a real nice real nice job. Uh, and there'll be other people walking around, I'm pretty sure. But essentially, um, you know, we'll, we'll make our way through there through our hangar. So this is my hangar. I've come into this room. It's going to take us up there to the top. I've got my thing there. I've got my uh, Vandal ship armor piece there. I've got some chunk of planet over here from Ellis. Uh, but this is the room, this is the elevator that's going to take us to the surface where we will uh, hopefully be able to get up to uh, where the dock is and you know uh, outside of my hangar on the planet Arcorp we'll take a walk around that's the hope and there may be a lot of people playing this so it may be or exploring this so it may be uh, may be difficult to get onto it you know they're still having a lot of trouble and, and I think that they they keep expanding their vision while developing the game and the problem with that is and I've said this before is that it's never going to be good enough then they're never going to launch it they're never going to put a line in the sand and say, this is when we get done. Yeah, see, we're having this trouble. It's going to take me right back to... Uh, yeah, it's going to take me back to the hangar. I'm going to have to try it again. So, you know, very. it's very frustrating. I mean, it's beautiful, and I get what they're trying to do, and I 
you know, applaud them for it, but they're going to have to draw a line in the sand and say, this is the point at which we launch the game. So let's try it again. So, we are here. I can't tell if that's another person. I think there was, I noticed this earlier today, a bit of collapsing in on myself. Um, right, so, yeah, there was another person there. All right, so, here we are, as if we had come out of my hangar, into the, essentially the R Corp, lobby from the landing pads and um, you know it's a bit gritty and grungy so we'll see lots of people like this guy here um, they can see us and we can see them but we can't talk to each other we can't chat with each other um, you can do things to get their attention like jump and stuff but you know can't do any can't do any interaction with them right now so we're going to come on in here. This is the um, customs declaration area, which I'm sure you guys have seen from some of the different things. Like this guy, I can't go up and interact with him. He doesn't talk to me. He doesn't ask me any questions. He just sits there. Um, but the quality is pretty good. Uh, there's my ship. That would be the ship that I have in the hangar right now. Um, I think it's the same. I think everybody sees the same one. But basically, you'd come here, make your declarations, do your stuff. And then, once you're cleared through, you'd move on into the city proper. And here we are in our core. See, it's, see what I mean by it being very much like uh, Blade Runner? Uh, there's lots of, lots of advertising around. You can see ships flying everywhere, very Star Wars-y. Um, anyway, so let's just take a walk around real quick. We're going to go, we'll start over here and kind of make our way around. That is where we'll go to get back to my hangar. Uh, and obviously we're not going to walk through the entire place tonight, but uh, we'll go to a couple of different things. We'll go to the bar, we'll go to the gun shop, and we'll go to the medical center. But you can go down all these passageways here. They all go kind of around. It's a pretty big space, actually. I was pretty impressed. Oh, yeah, let's do this. Let's run up here real quick. And, uh... We'll get up here where the ships come by. There goes one below us there. And he'll come out the other side. And there goes one overhead right there. That's pretty cool. I mean, you know... This leads down to uh, places we can't get into. And I did try and jump off the cliff earlier today, or jump off this ledge. Can't do it. I tried to jump off that one down there. Can't do that as well. It's a long way down. Anyway, um, so let's go, go back and see there's some ads. hand showing him. Oh, it's holding my pants up or something. Anyway, let's um, let's start out in the gun store. Cubby Blast. So you can walk in here and they're a little thin on uh, guns for sale. They just got a few right there and they got some ammo and stuff in there. But let me slow down a little bit. So this is the counter. You cannot interact with this guy yet. He looks to be the same guy that they have uh, at the uh, customs border declaration thing. But anyway, they've got ammo, knives, grenades, more ammo, pistol magazines, rifle magazines. There's a collection of weapons there. These are going to be some of the guns that they could, you can start out with uh, in the game. 
We got more bits and pieces, but this is basically this is basically the gun shop here. You'll be able to buy ammo and guns and stuff like that. Um, there's some grenades. Anyway, this is uh, so this is the Cubby Blast gun shop. Now we'll do some head out of here. Let's head over to the. Um, course obviously adds for everything uh, everything in the game you know, the medical unit so if anything had happened to you in the game you can come here and get fixed up they have medical components for sale obviously bits and pieces of things for sale that you could buy uh, to I guess to put on your ships to improve your uh, medical healing and repair capabilities things like that so all that kind of stuff there. I guess we can't. I guess he's trying to get in there. He's got different clothes than some of these other guys do. There's an exam. There's a guy working away at something there. Very serious looking DNA stuff. Anyway, so that's uh, that's the medical center. Let's go to the bar. That guy's in a big hurry. Ooh, that's kind of cool. I didn't know about that place. Trade and Development Division. I hadn't seen that before. So there's a lot of there's a lot of spaces in here, man. There's a there's a place that sells uh, spaceships. Um, there's the bar, there's the gun store, there's the parts trading joint. Obviously this, there's a, there's a whole ton of places. So this will be a spot, I'm guessing, where you can come and find jobs that will be available for you to get hired on for, whether it's a trading mission or a data data running mission or to go rescue somebody or do mining or reclamation or whatever this will be a place where you can come find those jobs posted and you will be able to go do those and earn income for your crew, your ship and everything uh, here is the bar where you can come over here and drink now there was earlier today I was in here there was a guy, yeah, I was drinking early in the day there was a guy in here who was on the dance floor and was able to do some funky moves Now, some guys are dressed in, like, heavy gear like that, and other guys are dressed like that. And I'm not sure which is which. But anyway, I was in here earlier, and there was a guy up here, and he started making fun of my, like, jumping around. Yeah, so he's dancing. See, there's lots of drinks on the table. There's some beer, wine. There's uh, other cocktails and stuff out there. So this is the bar. And eventually, fairly shortly, you should be able to come up and uh, talk to the bartender, order a drink, meet up with your buddies, listen in on other conversations from people that are... Uh, talking about things that you might be interested in knowing about where you could overhear or something and then steal a mission from somebody that you've overheard about maybe I don't know uh, some derelict ship some part of the galaxy that you could fly off to having overheard it in the bar um, yeah so you can see it's a it's a pretty big space this is this is supposed to be the first one that's going to open. Um, 
that people can actually purchase things, and that'll be clothing. You'll be able to change your clothing style. You'll be able to change uh, probably your shoes, things like that. Get some new stuff. Um, so that's the first. That's going to be the first shop that opens to allow you to do some special things to your character. Um, yeah. So this is okay. So that's the that's the um, ledge that I w or the sort of a platform I was on earlier when we were watching the spaceships, and this is the lower one. See, that guy's doing what I was trying to do, which is jump off of it. You get up here. I can stand up on this uh, bench, but what I cannot do is I cannot jump any further out. But this is pretty cool, though. So you see that Misk, you got uh, another ship coming in, Anvil Aerospace, all kinds of uh, advertisements everywhere. Cubby Blast. Anyway, so it's a beautiful world, and as soon as they actually open it up, it'll be interesting. Let's run a little more here. Right, so this is where you can. Got the, what's the M50 or whatever for sale? It's like a spaceship showroom, fancy spaceship showroom here. Um, again, can't interact with anybody or anything, but there it is. Very pretty, very nice looking. So it's a mix of like crappy old rundown shops and really really nice shops, uh, and pretty much everything in between. So you'll be able to go there and buy new ships. Uh, you can go get your clothes at the Cabas. Saba, you go get your drinks, you go get your medical stuff. So this world, and, and, and all of the world should be like this. When you get a landing zone, it'll have pretty much everything you need to buy, sell, trade, and do whatever. So anyway, here we are. That's the world, and just let you guys think I'd like to see it. This is the newest big thing from Star Citizen. Again, can't do much to it, except walk around it, take a look at it. There is no interaction, there is no purchasing, there is no talking, there's no chatting, there's none of that stuff, but, you know, we're getting close. So, um, anyway, I just thought you guys liked to see that. I hope you enjoyed it. If you own Star Citizen, take a look at it. Feel free to go in there and check it out from wherever it is in your hangar. Um, you have the opportunity to go from where your ship is. Now, there will be, eventually, when you land on a planet, Rather than coming from your hangar itself, you will come from the pad outside, and you'll be able to come in here. Um, but since right now, this is considered to be my, I guess, my um, prime world, we, um, we come from our hangar as opposed to from the outside. So, anyway, um, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. If you have questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'm always checking the comments. I'm happy to answer you back. That is the big thing from Star Citizen right now. Once we get back to the hangar, we'll go ahead and sign off for the night. It is a... Um, it's got a long way to go. And while that's beautiful, it's not going to hold people's attention for very long. They're going to need to come up with the interaction really, really quickly. Um, they're rapidly losing the energy and enthusiasm of their fans and you know as I was saying before they, they're going to have to draw a line in the sand and just make a game I'd rather have a working game now that got updated every couple of weeks with new things than wait and wait and wait for months and get one little update and then wait and wait and wait I mean because they keep changing things they keep trying to improve things before they've got something launched and they're going to have to get off the bench and actually start the game anyway it's my two cents it is beautiful um, I appreciate the vision of what they're trying to do but if they don't get it going they're going to blow it so thanks for watching everybody I hope you had a good time checking it out and I will catch you on uh, on the planet surface next time something important happens anyway this is boobs in space thanks for the memories playing star citizen have a great night